right, so I managed to get the bolt that was this one right here. Uh, this tip was touching the frame rail, so I put the hook right here and it basically bent it back. Now I can uh, get this bolt, this bolt, and that bolt off so I could get the bumper off in one piece. some measurements um, the distances here between the frame rails and some diagonal uh, distances and uh, this frame rail is bent this way a little over half an inch so about five eighths or so which is not that bad uh, it's gonna be fairly simple to just pull it back and uh, I'm also going to do some more measurements to see if it went up or down as well uh, so we'll get it straightened out, we'll get the fender pulled out, and I believe this may need to be pulled just a little bit to kind of get, get it back in place. Uh, there's a dent here, but I'm not sure I'm going to have to do some more measurements on that one to see if it's uh, bent off to the side or not. So yeah, stay tuned, we'll get, we'll get this thing started. Actually, it looks straight. Just has a dent in here. I just I feel like once I pull that frame rail, everything will sit back in place because it did look like the entire front end shifted over about that half inch. Um, probably when this shifted over, it pushed the support over. I don't think that frame rail is where it should be. Uh, but I could tell the front end shifted because there was a about a half an inch gap right here. So once I pull that back, everything should sit back where it should where it should be. All right, so I got the truck strapped down. I got chains going back that way, and uh, also got the chain because uh, the the frame rail I did some measuring it went uh, it went down about half an inch and you can kind of see the kink here it just and, and you can also look down it and it looks like it shifted down compared to that one which is straight so I'm going to be pulling this way and up at the same time I'm going to try to knock out both uh, angles at once so yeah let's get started <laughs>
to mislead. This is all you need. Be your everything, and I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real. More than just a thrill. So I got the 2016 Ram 1500 off the frame machine. As you can see, the gaps look good. Uh, I am missing a, he a headlight bracket on the passenger side. Um, as you can see, it's loose here. Uh, but when you put everything up, when you put everything up, it, it does line up perfectly. Uh, so uh, I'm wait, just gonna wait for that bracket to come in. And then uh, we will be tearing this truck down, uh, painting it, uh, painting the front end, paint painting the, the bed, uh, getting that bedside repaired. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I am gonna be putting this truck off to the side for a few, a few weeks probably until I get my 2019 Ram 1500 repaired. Uh, I did just put it on the frame machine. And I did uh, disassemble the parts truck 100% as you can see right here i got the frame rails uh, cut off and i got the apron removed so stay tuned for that uh, the video is gonna the video is gonna come up shortly here so yeah thanks for watching